Now, as far as that bond is concerned, it's $175 million still, which Donald does not have the cash for. Michael Cohen, former President Donald Trump's ex-lawyer and a key witness in his hush money trial, has quite a few detractors in the New York courtroom. Prosecutors have been contributing to skepticism about their star witness by highlighting personality flaws and his alleged wrongdoing. But contrary to what you may think, it's actually intentional. Once again, the hateful right has decided that they're going to silence me. Prosecutors are hoping the jury dislikes Cohen enough to reflect those feelings as a boomerang effect against Trump, who once called him a talented lawyer. They're trying to put Cohen in a frame on their own terms before the former president's team can do so. And they wait till I announce, and then they start their action, and then they wait till prime time, Super Tuesday. It all started Super Tuesday, the biggest day which we want every single thing. Davidson testified he would never describe the $130,000 payment to his client as hush money. Later in the day, Trump attorney Emil Bove appeared to be suggesting other non-disclosure agreements Davidson brokered for previous clients were essentially extortion of celebrities. This bogus trial that every leading authority on law says this should never have been brought, that Alvin Bragg didn't want to bring it until the election. Earlier in the day, Judge Juan Marchand held a gag order hearing considering four additional allegations against Trump. People at DOJ, instead of going after Donald Trump, they ought to look at what's happening in their own offices because you're loaded up with radical left people that want this country to fail, and we're not going to let this country fail. In Florida, the former president asked a judge to dismiss charges against him related to classified documents on grounds the Department of Justice was unfairly targeting him. Trump's defense drew comparisons to nine other officials, including President Biden and former Vice President Mike Pence, who allegedly mishandled classified material. Judge Eileen Cannon has not yet ruled on whether to dismiss Trump's charges based on them being selective and vindictive. And despite all the twists and turns in the courtroom, Trump denies falling asleep. Trump took to Truth Social, claiming he listens intensely and takes it all in when he momentarily closes his eyes while in the Manhattan courtroom.